Hi guys, welcome to my channel and uh, this is my uh, personal favorite top 10 from Deep Purple and uh, this is my number 10 it's a uh, first record uh, Shades of Deep Purple from 1968 and um, you can you can hear much uh, on the radios from this record except uh, the uh, song Hush which was first Deep Purple hit in the US and uh, I like this uh, 60s swipe on the first three uh, <coughs> records uh, uh, from Mark 1 lineup so that's why I'm choosing between 10 best uh, records what I like so this is the number 10 and um, I have also uh, this Japanese pressing which is uh, uh, with different cover so number nine it's a second uh, record from the purple uh, it's uh, album the book of Taliesin and um, it's another great record um, um, so what what is really great it's uh, Hammond uh, solo on the Kentucky Woman uh, it's uh, phenomenal and uh, this is great record I really like it I have uh, this one which is uh, old uh, US press so my number eight it's album called Fireball it's it's also a great record and uh, this version it's with a strange kind of woman but I have also version with uh, demon's eye on it and uh, I like the record and I like the sound of the record because uh, it's nice space uh, uh, there and it's uh, it's really really not nice sounding uh, record so my number seven it's a uh, last record from 60s uh, it's called only deep purple it's a third record and there is some great tracks like uh, chasing shadows blind Lalena and others so um, another fantastic record uh, because it's on my top 10 so maybe I surprise you because uh, probably you will uh, push this album higher than me but uh, my number six is uh, machine head it's fantastic record uh, I really like it uh, but uh, I like more some uh, live versions f uh, f from this record uh, especially lazy on the made in Japan f are really fantastic but great record so my number five it's this live album called uh, Deep Purple in Concert and uh, it's including two concerts uh, first one it's from 1970 and uh, support uh, in rock album and other one it's from 1972 and it support uh, album Machine Head and this is really great sounding record and um, there is some special things like uh, live version of never before I, I don't know uh, about some other version from 70s some live version uh, which you can find on some uh, live album or bootleg live album so uh, this is uh, kind of special 
and the whole album it's amazing amazing power amazing uh, uh, improvisations this is great on the 70s band because a lot of them playing every concert differently and you can enjoy the uh, the improvisation and the uh, uh, music uh, there. So my number four it's another live double album made in Japan or I have also Japanese version live in Japan with different different cover and uh, this is really fantastic and it's uh, one of the best uh, uh, live recordings ever and uh, how I said uh, amazing lazy or strange kind of woman uh, but also s smoke on the water and others uh, great uh, versions and it's really interesting how uh, powerful uh, was this band in the 70s uh, I mean how powerful was life because it's amazing and I have another life albums which is also great from this uh, time period so my number three it's album called burn this is signed by Glenn Hughes and it's a fantastic album uh, Baron, Majestic Alive, Lay Down, Stay Down You Fool No One, Mistreated fantastic tracks and uh, again uh, great uh, kind of solos and uh, uh, also fantastic singing by David Carradale and Glenn Hughes really fantastic record this is surprise you my number two it's who do think we are um, for me this album it's uh, uh, overlooked and there is some amazing tracks and uh, for me, uh, song Red Belt Blue, including uh, uh, the best studio uh, John Lord solo ever. Uh, it's great sounding record. Uh, uh, I know um, people from the band uh, didn't uh, like it too much. Uh, all the fans uh, not uh, like it too much, but for me it's great record and this is a surprise for you because I put it on the number two and ta -da -da -da, number one is in rock I have uh, this um, first German press which is uh, with a white color on, on the front and on the back with the normal blue one and uh, this is pure hard rock uh, the energy it's on the highest level and uh, also the sound for example uh, uh, the, the Hammond intro in the child in time the sound of, uh, of the Hammond and of the Ian Gillen voice it's fantastic so uh this is my number one so uh let me let me know uh, what's your um favorite um deep purple records and if you are interested so i can show you uh, my whole deep purple collection which is uh, not small <laughs> uh, there is some bootlegs uh, some studio albums some EPs, also some singles or CDs. So let me know, write me on the comment what's your favorite and have a nice day guys. Bye.